12 years ago, a handful of guys started a small golf club design company called Impact Technologies. We didn't know if we'd be successful or not at first, but when our first customer was Jack Nicholas Golf and we made Jack's personal clubs, our next customer was Gary Player Golf and we made Gary's personal clubs, we knew we might make it. Make it they did, and in 2001 drew the attention of Nike, who bought the company and entered into the high-tech world of golf club research and development. Quietly in West Fort Worth, David Franklin and 27 other Nike workers are on golf's cutting edge, coming up with and testing the next generation of golf equipment. Craftsmanship and computer genius working hand in hand. We start out with a 3D geometry that they create in the CAD room. And we take a block of metal, in this case aluminum, and we machine it through stages. This is a roughing stage, a pre-finished stage, and a finished stage to get a finished product in the overall 3D geometry. Inside this 28,000 square foot facility, the process starts with brainstorming sessions that give way to the production of a playable golf club. An idea that we generate today will introduce in late 06 or maybe 07. There are hundreds of clubs in this room and some of your favorite PGA Tour players may actually come in here, look at some of the clubs and decide they want to play with them too. Including Tiger Woods, who used these clubs to win a few tournaments and a few million dollars. Tom Stites, who has worked with Ben Hogan, takes pride in seeing golf's brightest stars like Woods play with the clubs he designs. Uh, you know, Tiger's one of those really gifted athletes that is very uh, easy to, to work with. He's got a tremendous ability to be able to hit the ball, you know, an infinite number of ways. And as a club designer, it's a really great challenge for me to be able to, to work on clubs that, uh, that Tiger will eventually take out and win on tour. It's, uh, I get to live a little vicariously through uh, the things that he does. 